was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob and collecting the bounty on John Wesley. Texas Rangers got heart. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they want you to believe. a witch's tit and a brass bra that night as I fought my way past his loyal compadres to the very same saloon we're sitting in today. Look around and imagine this place painted in blood. Harden was waiting for me. I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Hardin was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. Fathers and husbands, brothers and sons, men with families who cared about them. He was a bona fide folk hero by then and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted thugs. He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. Shit, it's cold out here. I'm freezing my giblets off. Ain't right we gotta stay out here keeping watch like this. Ain't no better stupid enough to go after Hardin anyway. Better three hours early than a minute too late. They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. As most of them were wanted as well. I figured Harden was here somewhere, but to get to him, I'd have to get past his gun hands. And that was easier said than done, as most of them were as foolish and full of bravado as I was. spill a lot of blood to find out Hardin wasn't in that camp. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Hardin's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their jefe of my unwelcomed presence. We'll have to do everything we can to get 
everything! Bob was among them. And I steeled myself for the fight ahead, for as good as I was. Deep down, I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better. Before I could test my mettle against Harden, however, I would first need to dispatch his cadre of hired killers. Most of these degenerates were beyond redemption, but John Wesley might have been a different story. I didn't learn until later that that night was in fact his birthday celebration.
I think I already mentioned that I found Hardin in this very saloon. to say, nobody there was happy to see me. In fact, I felt a certain hostility. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. That man was faster than Grease Lightning, but being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back of the saloon, just like this one. Anybody up for another beer? Ben?